What's happening, Hammer Clan? Welcome again to the next edition of our Let's Build series. And uh, over there, as you can see, are the two houses that we put together. This is the one we did last time. But I wanted to draw your attention to something over here before we get started on the next phase of our project. It's something that I've actually built. I've had built since the bridges and planning episode. Um, but I didn't want to draw attention away from what we were doing and from that episode, so I didn't include it. Um, but it's a mine. Uh, I'm going to build some infrastructure all around the village itself, and one of the first things that I did was build a mine, and of course there's a barge with some uh, some ore. They're hauling out lots of iron out of this mine, and uh, a nice little crane with a stone counterweight. Uh, I thought it came out pretty nice. Um, I was pretty, pretty satisfied with it. And uh, over here, there's not a whole lot. I think I'm probably going to add maybe a few more cranes and some stuff around the mine itself. But down here in this depression, I didn't make this. This was actually naturally spawned. So I was like, you know what? A mine would just look really good right here. Um, so basically, I'm going to have probably like a ladder with some scaffolding all around here. Uh, that's going to come down. And uh, it's going to come into this portion of the mine. And you've got some gold being hauled up here and uh, let's go on down to the landing area and it opens up into this nice big open mine let's head on up and over uh, to this side where we've got all this iron and let's go on down in here I really like this entrance a lot it's just very simple um, very uh, very plain they've got the, the, the wood going on out here with another crane hit, uh, or lifting system rather it's probably um, being being Minecraft it's really hard to make some sort of small crank system I haven't really figured out anything that looks good yet um, if I do I'll put it in but if not it'll just stay this way uh, they'll just probably like lift the lift the rope manually or something I don't know <laughs> but uh, going down here and it's just another landing another entrance on into the mine and it doesn't really go much of anything anywhere over there is the other entrance. So it actually connects up into the same mine. But I just thought that was a kind of a cool feature to add. Um, if you have uh, little holes and stuff in, in the hillside, you don't always have to terraform everything if you're building in creative or even survival. Like This was just a big gaping hole in the, in the hillside. And rather than cover it up, I was like, you know what? Let's make something out of it. It kind of looks like a pit mine. So that's what, exactly what I made out of it. So it just goes to show you building with your surroundings um, can really come in handy. Now I did do some filling, like the, there was a hole that came out on the side here. I filled that in. But other than that, I didn't really do a whole lot of change in the terrain. I just saw this nice little depression and built a mine. And so it, was, it became some of the infrastructure for the village. And they can float the rafts, the barges down. It's a pretty deep river, so I figured they could, you know, float these barges down the river up into this shallow end over here, maybe to another town or something. I don't know. But uh, we discussed a few things, like over here is going to be the water mill. But today, our focus is going to be here on the fisherman's hut. And it's going to be slightly different. I'm going to use some of the same techniques and things, but it's going to be different from the rest of the builds because it is just going to be a hut. So, without further ado, I'm going to go right on into the build. This is Bill the Sheep. He's going to be our uh, building companion today. Um, he's not going to do much of anything but supervise. He's going to just go to sort of stand back and uh, watch this build. And I think he's going on his lunch break. Today, uh, da, 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 I think I'm going to do the a wooden sort of theme. I've already put some posts up uh, in place of our purple wool to get the general outline of things and uh, I think that's where we're gonna start also I'm going to bring in some fence posts and I think what we're gonna do here is go ahead and just line the bottom let's should we do a staircase like this? 
I think if we do that, we're going to have to make it one back. Or like that. And then we'll do... That's not going to work. Well, it could. If... You know what? We're going to do wooden planks to make this sort of simple. You'll see where I'm going with this, I hope. As long as it's not a complete catastrophe, uh, hopefully you guys get where I'm going. I don't know if I should do it like this, like a gradual sort of incline thing. I'm just kind of experimenting with you guys. Um, I don't think that looks too bad, actually, for for what it's going to be. Let's grab these now, bring them around the outside. This is where our wall is going to be. So daisy. Upside down there. All right. Um, all right. So there's the base of what is going to be the platform and everything. I'm also going to raise this. Up here. And let's grab. See, I don't want to have the stone because I just feel like it'd be too heavy. That's why I grabbed the spruce wood stairs and stuff. Let's grab this here. Two, three. One, two, three, to four. So I'm going to have an odd number. And I don't really like that. But I might not have a choice. Or what I could do instead. Aha! Wheels are turning here. Wheels are turning. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to keep this. We're going to keep this just as it is. Just as it is. And you'll see why. Um... This should hopefully come together pretty quickly. It's not a huge build, um, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Let's come up with something that looks nice. And by nice, that's a relative term because this is essentially a shack. <laughs> so. Alright, you notice I'm using a whole lot of the spruce wood like stairs. And there's a reason for that. There's a reason for that, I promise. Um, let's see, I'm going to use the light gray. Because that's what's going to look the best. And I think for some trim... I think we're going to put in some white stained clay because the white stained clay is like a plaster it's not um you see what i mean it's it's like a plaster uh with like wood it's not necessarily stone so i think that's what we're gonna do with it um boom right there door here to this side because there's going to be it's going to be out to a little fishing platform 
on a dock right here. So that's what I'm that's what I'm going for, essentially. So there's going to be this right here. Except that it's gonna be you know what? I'll do that. And it will come out by one there. All right, and we'll raise this one, two, three. Come on down here, raise it up to about right here, and We'll actually continue just to drop this down gradually. Um, come on. There we go. Wait. Nope. Wrong thing. That was the right way. There we go. A nice gradual drop there. All right, and let's add one feature to this house. Uh, a small, a small chimney of some kind. So what we'll do is we'll bring a chimney. I, I want it to have a chimney of some kind. And I think that a chimney on the end would actually look really nice. Um, it'd be a nice change anyway to what we've been doing. So I think that'll be a good thing. And we'll do some kind of hearth or something, maybe. Or we'll just do it plain. I don't know yet. Let's try out some cobblestone. One thing of cobblestone, just one. And then we will do this across the top. So here, boom. All right, now we got a fireplace. Got a fireplace. Fireplace, ooh ha ha. I don't know, we'll figure that out in just a moment. But first, we are going to continue on our little, uh, let's see, this is going to have to change somewhat. Uh, this, uh, we're going to do something a little bit different here. There we go. Nice border all the way down with some. I'm not really sure how I want to support this. Should I have some side supports like like so? It, it turns out right. It turns out right, but I don't know if that's what I want to do with it. So. Might just change this. No. Let's not do that. Let's do this instead. Yeah, some more basic support elements. Doesn't have to be too smancy. Alright, and then this will hang out over this. So what we'll do here is create a platform like this, and like so. A 
don't think that looks too bad, actually. I think that looks kind of cool. Um, I don't know about this being the support. I think maybe we should change that to spruce or something of that nature. Let's try this out. Oh, come on. Might just have to do the whole thing from the start. Like this. Boop! There we go. And let's try to get these to cooperate. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. <laughs> Let's take out the tops. All right, there we go. All right, that's not too bad. And and we can also add some supports maybe down here. I don't know. Is that overkill? Is it overkill? Is it, guys? I don't know. Let's try to make this a little bit. Ah. There we go. There we go. I didn't like having it just the way that it was. I didn't like that. Same thing here. We'll trade this out for one of these. Trade this out for one of these. That way it looks a little bit better. There we go. All right, we are coming along. We've got Got some, got some stuff taken care of now. Uh, how far are we? One out? Should we go one out? Yeah, we'll do that. And here's, here's the other question. Should it have a support? Have, should it also have a rail? Let's, let's take a look at it and see because I'm not sure. I'm feeling like that's too wide at the end. I'm thinking that it should get more narrow, like we had it. What do you guys think? I think that, that looks better. All right, uh, we'll, we'll roll with it. We'll roll with it. So, with that being said, now we gotta do the roof. Pretty much is what we got left to do. Uh, and in keeping a tradition with our other build, we will bring this out here. I think that's actually going to be our our, uh, our Fisher's hut. It's um, it didn't take much. It's not a very big building. It was never going to be a very big build, um, but 
I definitely think that um, considering the size of it, it's really small. But I think that we kept to our um, our theme pretty well. I think that it looks pretty cool uh, for the size that it is. Um, I think that it just um, overall, I think that it's kind of a cool thing to have with, uh, you know, you come in, it's very, very small. Like it would be enough for have him for like a bed, like his little fireplace is sitting right here with, you know, like a, a pauldron and, and stuff. And then, um, you know, maybe like a little table and some other stuff. But overall, not a big build. Just not a big build at all. Um, very easy to do, actually. And I, I wanted to show you guys that um, it doesn't have to be the, the biggest build to make it look nice. Um, I think that it looks okay. I think that there are some other things that maybe we could have improved on. Um, and then if I do make some changes to it, um, I'll show that in the next video. But I think overall, uh, it doesn't look too bad. I think it, it goes well with the rest of the building. It obviously has the same it has the same roof, different sort of chimney though, with uh, this nice little platform to go out so the fishermen can go fish. Um, I'm really looking forward to continuing on with their with our village and seeing how it grows and of course as always your input is greatly appreciated guys if you have anything any critique at all of something that I do or something that I put into the village um, let me know down in the comment section that way I can improve it I can tweak it uh, I can take it all into consideration uh, so that it can be the most awesome village that I've ever made. So thanks for watching. And as always, I'm Hulk Rootheimer signing out. If you are new to the channel, please hit that red subscribe button. It helps me out a whole lot. And if you are already subscribed or if you're watching this video at all, hit the like button. Thanks. <laughs>